Right, due to um, some unforeseen circumstances, this video might not even make it to the internet because certain, certain circumstances I am losing my touch. Not that I even had it in the first place, but regardless, here's an OU match against Psycho. It isn't a serious battle because I rarely do serious battles and I had a joke team just full of shits and giggles Pokemon that I had to test out and straight off the bat I have to apologize for the reflection of the DS screen I... it's not my fault I'll tell you that but I still apologize because I'm such a sincere person and I thought we kinda agreed not to have a serious match but just look at this team it just oozes seriousness I mean he has an Infernape which is naturally in the lead so I'm kinda assuming Stealth Rocks which is all fine and dandy until you realize I do not have a rapid spinner, not even a freaking deli bird. And he has some other scary stuff like a Rotom Wash that I see in every OU battle, but you know this is Zyko. Maybe he kinda plays a prank, you know, maybe he kinda bought a serious looking team which would end up not being serious. Which you will see is or is not the case as soon as this battle starts. So I sent out my rotary engine because I haven't used it in quite a while so I thought, you know, I want to use it again. Which is why I kinda led with it. Because if he led with the Infernape or this Azel, which are two potential leads, I can Thunder Wave them and none of his other team guys seem to appreciate a Thunder Wave. However, this turn, the first turn he goes for the Ice Punch, which kind of tells me that he's Choice Bandit because what other Azels would run Ice Punch, but... Then again, looking at the damage, it's kind of hard to believe it's Choice Bandit. I mean, come on, it's a freaking Azel. It has base 125 attack, I believe. However, I don't really see the point of Choice Bandit Azel now that Explosion damage is effectively half. So I have the Hex, but I don't quite kind of want my Rotary to die just yet because I can Thunder Wave a lot of his things, which he would not like. Therefore, I take it upon myself to make his life a living misery hell, and I'm gonna send out my Rebellion now. I kind of know his Choice Lock into Ice Punch, but I, and that kind of means I can send out my Grace Glaze, but in the off chance that he's not Choice and he can go for something like Zen Hitbot, I kinda don't want my Grace Blaze to take it, especially since it's stabbed, you know, based on 25. And that's why I send out my Rebellion, which takes the Ice Punch. And it kinda does the damage I kinda expected it to do, but you know, it was just a safe thing to do, okay? I just wanted to use Rebellion because I like it, and I've, n I've not made it work in a video at all. But in exchange for taking that much damage from the Ice Punch, my Crunch kinda does a lot and I get the boost from my speed boost so all my, my Rebellion is, don't know, in Devil Trigger form, really fast, blah blah blah. And I'm kinda thinking that the Sucker Punch is a bit too obvious therefore he would not go for it because any sane person would switch but I am a sane person but I am a smart sane person which is why I just went for the Earthquake and killed it to death but Regardless, he is going to ponder upon his life decisions and how much he sucks in life because that's just how the world, the world works. Alternatively, you can just think that he's typing away on MSN because that's just the way we do things. I mean, Pokemon battles without a live chat going on, that's just wrong. That That is just immorally and unspeakably wrong even though I just spoke of it but I am God. That's why conventional rule does not apply to me. So you might be thinking I'm a stupid idiot who, that runs Speed Boost and Aqua Jet at the same set, but it's kind of a multi-purpose rebellion because if I, in the off chance that I need it anyone, anytime before late game, i.e. in this situation, I can send out rebellion Aqua Jet for the revenge kill and then, you know, switch it out and come back in later late game and sweep stuff with Waterfall Crunch and Earthquake. Which means, no, I do not have to protect because that is just too mainstream for me. So looking at my low C team, I kind of realized I A, don't have any walls and B, nothing can really take a fire blast. Or rather, I don't really have a Pokemon that fits the two descriptions. My only wall is Cobalion and sending that out against the Infernape kind of isn't a wise move because I'm a smart person as I've previously said. 
And then we both die because I kind of set up my rotary as a death order, which isn't really a good thing to do. So, I mean, seeing that he has his own Rotom, I mean, a Rotom on Rotom showdown would kind of be epic and would be for your viewing pleasure. But you know what? I suck as a battler and I suck worse as a narrator, therefore, you do not get to see it. So, I set up my Impede here because he could expect my Grace Blaze and send out this Rotom. And I have a Rebellion which I can send out and kill things with. But then again, there's this Rotom with. Which is usually a physical wall, which is why I can't send up any of those. Which is why I'm gonna send up my Impedance, my Scully P, and here I find out his Scarf. I, any experienced OU battler would kinda expect that, but I kinda didn't. So, I find out here his Scarf, and I do get the sub off before I get the Baton Pass, and it's unfortunate that the red card does not work through a substitute because I had the red card, and I would really love to get this stupid Rotom phased out. However, he does get two crits in a row. I mean, like, oh my god, oh hex, or I mean, I can't believe this shit. I mean, so what's the chance of a critical hit? Six point two five percent. Six point two five percent times six point two five percent. That's like, I don't know, whatever. And hydro pump missing is like twenty percent, and that's a lot more than a critical hit ratio. So, how comes my oh no no curse? or I mean my Hexerus, I apologize, or my Noes, as I have named it, is a choice vendor max attack rivalry, or no no curse, I mean a Hexerus, because I love overkill, and I just kinda want this thing to wreck shit, I'll come to Jirachi, and I'm like, come on now honey, don't you worry, you just picked the wrong fight, silly bitch, don't never, oh, mm, yeah, so he goes for the substitute just to dig me, and I get a 2 turn outrage because I'm a wussy. And I'm with my choice bandit rivalry max attack. I'm gonna kill myself because that's just the way the world works. And he's gonna be able to get a, a, a side shock on air. But now I'm kinda in a ditch because all I have left is my Grace Glaze, my Scully Pete, and my Cobalion and Sharpedo. None of which can really deal with a Jirachi behind a substitute. So I'm gonna send my Cobalion here because he has a side shock and I figure I can go for the Reflect. And he kinda tells me that Reflect doesn't affect side shock. And I was like, really? So he goes for the Karmai and I'm thinking, really? So I go for the Sacred Sword. Uh, Sacred Sword. And it doesn't even break the sub, and I was like, really? So he goes for the side shock. Thankfully, it doesn't do too much, seeing that I'm a physical wall. Yeah, I am a physically defense defensive Cobali, and I cannot speak. So, having set up the reflect, I'm thinking I should go for the full switch, break the sub, and send out my Sharpedo, seeing that I'm slower than him, therefore, I can switch my, switch my Sharpedo in for free. However, I go for the full switch here, and it doesn't even break the sub yet again, and I was like, Really? And then Nintendo Wi-Fi DCs and I'm like Really? Except there's still a lot of videos so I kinda lied. So I sent up my impedance here and I am going to go for the Mega Horn hoping that uh, the Red Cup will work through the opponent substitute and then yep, we disconnect. Because you know I like telling the truth sometimes. And then we decide Wi-Fi is too being a bitch and therefore we do not rematch. So here's a refund for you because you have wasted your time on this video. It wouldn't be right if I didn't give you a complete battle that did not end up in the disconnect. This time it's against better at than Smag or Splags uh, as his in-game trainer name would be. And looking at his team I'm kinda thinking yes, this is the kind of battle I've been wanting in the first place because you know, when you make a choice band rivalry max attack on no curse, you kinda want to joke around and dick around with your best friends. That's kind of the charm with, you know, and you stuff. Or rather just not taking this game too seriously, but he's gonna do with the electro and I'm kinda thinking, oh shit, is this gonna be like rain? And I sent out my cobalt blue because I kinda forgot why, because Giving informative narrations isn't my style, so I am going to go for the Thunder Wave if I'm a smart person, but I'm not a smart person, therefore I'm just gonna go for the Sacred Squad because I just want to kill this thing, because he might taunt me and he might set up the Rain Dance, but I mean, 
That thought processor told me that I can't go wrong with Sacred Sword. That Sacred Sword. Therefore, I went for the Sacred Sword, which gets a crit, which I'm hoping will 2KO even with the Reflect, but then again, looking back, it kind of won't, which is why I should have went for the Thunder Wave instead, but you know what, I wasn't playing too seriously, I wasn't paying attention. So it kind of doesn't kill, he Thunder Waves me, which doesn't really bug me too much seeing that I am a war and if anything it just means I can't be slapped or burnt. Or if I'm gonna take a Omega shit ton of damage from Electro Ball. And I'm gonna send out my Reflect because I'm thinking, ha ha ha, what is this Electro gonna do to me? What are you going to do to me? I'm not afraid of you. And the funny thing is whenever I think I'm not afraid of you with my Cobalion, I kinda get owned in the face. See battle against TH7. So he sets up his uh, light screen and I am going to go for the Sacred Squad. It doesn't even kill. What is this? You. You. Piece of shit. And saying that this is my only wall in this hyper offense team, this hyper offense joke team I should say, I really don't have anything to take. That freaking Electro Ball. So my only wall in the game dies. Which could potentially mean bad things because I kinda am defenseless now. So in these times of need, the best defense is offense and I'm gonna send out my depression with the emo hair card. And gonna gonna quick attack it. Hopefully static does not bite me in the feathers or the hair. Whenever he makes his move. And I suppose this is a good time to explain why I'm using a Star Raptor instead of a Pidgeot because I just felt like it. If you can get the reference to this Star Raptor, then you are a cool person. As almost as cool as the person I'm referencing here because he is quite depressed and depressed people are cool. I think. So he's gonna send out this thing, and I'm thinking, okay, I have no walls, I have nothing to take the hydro pump. Depression, you're gonna die. Unless, of course, you kill it before it kills you, but that's kinda not the case, and I die. Kinda hoping he would overpredict or something, you know, because I have a Glaceon and such. And then my very meaningful reflect wears off, because I am such a smart player. <coughs> I am running out of water. So I kind of figure he specs or scarf or something, which is why I'm gonna send out my Grace Blaze because that's the wise thing to do. I could send out my Sharpedo, but if it's not choice, my Sharpedo would die quite badly. So I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam, predicting a switch, and I'm thinking, yes, this is a dead elect the boss. I almost forgot his name, but then I see the damage he does, and I'm thinking, what the fuck? And then I see the light screen, and I was like, oh. And the thing about light screen is. If both the opponent and the user forget about its existence, it should not work. Because I, I swear, better add than Snack himself forgot that he had the light screen. So I'm predicting a cross chop, go out to my Scully Pete, which quad resists it, and it gets thunderbolted to death. Because this is, isn't a bulky Scully Pete like my last one. So I'm gonna send my Rebellion, gonna go for the Aqua Jet, except not really, I'm kinda bluffing it. Well, when I say bluff, I have it, but I'm not gonna use it because he might switch out to that freaking water monkey thing. However, he's just gonna go for the th thunderbolt and kill me. Nice. So at this point, I'm kinda get getting swept by this freaking Electabuzz. So that's a good game, better add than smack. I, I mean, yeah, it was a quick game, but at least it didn't end up in the disconnect. And I hope to get a rematch with you sometime in which I can hopefully, you know, put up a fight and be a bit serious. This team isn't serious at all. I just want a little I just want to be a little bit serious. It's hard to find that kind of mood actually, but oh hey look, that Electabuzz died. I didn't get swept. Ha ha ha, I lied. Yes, I know I love lying. So he's gonna send out this freaking thing. And I'm not really sure what he wants to do, I know he gets the prankster, it might want to status me, but if he does that, he's gonna pretty much effectively die unless he has the freaking uh, focus sash, but I think the sucker punch is coming, I honestly do, so I'm gonna send out my Onono curse as he goes for the substitute. And he shows me he's not focus sash, so... 
This is a very depressing battle for me actually and he's gonna go for the home close and I'm gonna go for the rivalry choice band a super effective brick break which is going to break that sub into atomic sized sub pieces and I'll probably break the sub pieces down into their basic elements like oxygen or iron I don't know I haven't done chemistry in quite a while and here I go for the brick break which should totally obliterate that thing and I win so that's a good game better end and smack oh 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 that's a good game